For some people familiar with Mayan culture, New Year's 2012 is more than another year. It's the end of the world. To help me figure out if it's time to pack up or pack out, I have to find a shaman by the name of Vinny in the middle of the Guatemalan jungle. Vincent, Vinny, we have come on bicycles, boats, kayaks, helicopters, and four-wheel drives to find you here on the Lagos Atalan in the center, the heart of Mayan culture. And Vinny is known actually as the local and probably the only white shaman in Central America. I've got a whole bunch of questions for you. You've lived in the forest of the Mayans. You're immersed in Mayan culture. It's, we're getting up to 2012 and you know what that means. So what's your take on that? 2012 is a period ending of a very large uh, long count date. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Mayas they had this concept of different uh, ages and different periods. 2012 comes from a long count date. Okay, so the people who are living today, mm -hmm. that long count date, it's not really part of their cosmovision. It's not part of their, their kind of thinking about the way the sun revolves around the earth and, and day keeping and, and the 260 day divinatory calendar. That all dies in the year 900. So for the last, what, uh, 1,100 years, those people haven't been thinking about long count dates. This is really important in Mayan ways of thinking about time. One cycle ends and then the next, next cycle begins. So you destroy time, you take it apart, you dismember it, you cleanse it, you purify it, and then you re -knot it, you build it back up again, and you recreate time. The world's not going to end. No, even if it was the Mayas, they would have they would have defaced their temples and they would have restuccoed them, they would have drawn okay. new murals. It's a new image, a new yeah. world, uh, new world age, new right. color even maybe, something like that. New form, new design. But not a destructive ending, not an apocalyptic ending that we think of in our Christian ways of thinking about apocalypse and okay. millenarian thinking. Ours is like, it's all over. Is there any advice you want to give to people about 2012? Well, for a person, I mean, who's involved with 2012, I think it's a, it's, 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 it's an interesting thing because if you're worried about your life ending, then you should kind of look at your life and kind of reevaluate it. Are you doing what you really want to do? Yeah. I mean, if that's what the Mayas would say, are, are you, have you found your destiny? Because Mayas are really into like, what is your destiny? What is your road? I've learned a whole lot, especially that I, I don't need to uh, worry about the end of uh, 20, to the end of the calendar in 2012. Just use it as an opportunity to do a little bit of cleaning of the mind, like a garage sale of the mind, starting all over, right? I do that. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so there you have it. From Lake Atitlan, the heart of Mayan culture here in Guatemala. Can you say goodbye in uh, one of the local dialects? Bye. There you go. Bye. Yeah.